months back uh, with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, they have introduced the multi-factor authorization. So no doubt that's a good feature. Um, I mean, any login as a multi-factor authorization, it's always a good feature. But particularly uh, if you're having a free account, the always free account, uh, you might not get uh, good support just like uh, a paid account. So many times uh, you face challenge, particularly um, with the multi-factor authorization. When you lost the mobile, there is uh, no connection in your particular uh, SIM or your mobile crashes and you have uh, reformatted it. Even with uh, the authenticator, um, you cannot again uh, log into the uh, Oracle Cloud. So this is a challenge, particularly I have come across, uh, particularly on the web. Um, when you have a free tire, they are facing this challenge. Because uh, when you log in, the first one is the first screen you have to provide with the user ID and password. And in the subsequent screen, this is what you get uh, because um, the notification uh, with which you have configured your mobile, the notification goes there and you need to uh, open and tap on the uh, authenticator so that you can get into the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. But what if, as I said, there is a challenge if the phone is lost, there is no signal uh, in your uh, particular SIM or your mobile is reformatted, then you are stuck uh, because uh, there is no way, um, I mean, you could log in uh, because uh, uh, it's not like if you're using WhatsApp, if you're using web on WhatsApp, you can again have the Q QR code um, for that specific uh, device and uh, then uh, you can log in. So that's what I also thought um, how to enable again enable the QR code is there uh, because no way I was able to log in into the Oracle uh, cloud because it was getting once you give the user ID and password this screen is coming so no way from this screen I can uh, generate a new QR code either if you have the bypass code you if you have a code that is one time only you can use that code the first time setup even I was not aware many people are not aware to generate the bypass code so I was struck um, in almost last few days looking all over the web to find a solution and finally finally I found out a solution so that's where I thought uh, I should uh, share with folks who face this challenge particularly if you are on free tire free tire is what you can just can't go to the support uh, because if it's a paid account yeah they might help you in uh, providing you after all your authentication they might provide you with appropriate support because that's a paid account I mean free tire uh, the support is uh, might not be as effective uh, as a paid account so there could be time lost uh, as well so that's where you could try out this option no doubt if you're getting in from oracle support it is well and good otherwise you could try out these options there are two options i'm presenting so um, if you look at this approach for recovering your oci account so this is this is a uh, uh, the uh, this is for your specific uh, specific account so this you need to um, post it on your browser. Only thing is ensure that whatever is there in the um, star, you need to provide your own domain number. Uh, how do I get this domain number? And I already have posted this in the description. So you, the HTTP, you can get that around the description as well. Your domain number uh, is when you log into the Oracle uh, cloud, cloud.oracle.com, um, you get that uh, 32 alphanumeric uh, characters will be there 32 uh, digits not digits it's 32 alphanumeric uh, characters will be there initially starting with uh, the alpha e f a b c d e f or whatever it is then followed with numbers in between there is uh, alpha uh, some um, alphabetics and then finally it ends with the number so it's about totally there are um, 32 um, 32 digits so you need to replace that um, so you can get that when you log into the um, cloud account your oracle cloud account once you give the user id and password uh, you get into the um, the mobile uh, validation screen from there you pick that uh, 32 digits number and then you got to replace it over here and then um, open the browser replace that part and then um, you can um, get into the login screen so once you get into the login screen provide your uh, cloud user id and password and there are two options one is that you can generate a bypass code um, you need to enter that bypass code when you log in again into the cloud account um, but it is a one-time use so each time you need to generate the bypass code which is again if you feel that's a, a tedious process then the other option is you can disable the additional authentication 
So this is, I have tried because each time I have to generate a bypass code. So I thought, why don't I disable the authentication? Well, it's your choice. If you want to do it, you can do it, but do it at your own risk because um, the reason is, if you remove the, that authentication, uh, it's just uh, your user ID and password alone. Um, it doesn't relate to any of the mobile number. Uh, so either options you could use, you can generate a bypass code and use it, but that is for one time use. Whereas if you disable the additional authentication, it will not get into the uh, mobile authentication where you need to tap on your mobile. So that authentication uh, is gone. So just like what was there earlier, about one year back, you use the user ID and password to log in. This is particularly okay for your uh, free account. That's what I tried. I disabled the additional authentication instead of each time generating the bypass code. So if you want to generate the bypass code, well and good, you use this link, uh, provide your domain info, substitute with the domain info and uh, log in into the your cloud account and uh, it will be something like this. And then you have, once you get in, uh, you got to generate the bypass code. It is again, uh, I think about 12 digits uh, code will be there. So copy that code, have it with you and then log into the cloud account with the user ID password and then go into the bypass code screen, give that 12 digit, you can then access your cloud account. So that is the first approach. The other approach is go to the admin console where you are going to disable it, disable the mobile login or your bypass code, you are going to disable it, which means you are going to log in with just your user uh, ID and password alone. Um, so in that case, get into the admin console and then single sign on go to the single sign on and uh, once you get into the single sign on you have uh, sign on rules you have uh, multi-factor authorization for administrators and for all users so both of them you need to uh, disable because users all even though you could be an administrator you're still an user so you go to disable in both in your um, mfa for administrator and mfa for all users so get into the edit over here and once you say edit um, you have a screen something like this um, so here access is allowed if you're a user if you in the top top end of the screen it says if it's a user uh, you are allowed to access if you're an administrator what you need to do then action is what allowed you got to disable it disable prompt for additional factors that is where it asks for bypass uh, mobile passcode or mobile app notifications once you disable the everything goes off and then you save it and once you save it you can log on again into your cloud account from then on it will not use uh, ask for the mobile notification not send the mobile notification you actually don't need to uh, have the bypass code as well so this is um so that means your bypass there is no multi-factor authorization if you're comfortable yes ensure that uh, you have uh, um, um, have the additional uh, security in the sense have your uh, user id and password protected I felt it is okay for if you are using a free tire uh, instead of generating bypass uh, bypass code each time you could do that. I have not found the how to generate a QR code again. Uh, in case uh, if you are able to generate a QR code again, yeah, you could share that with me because I have not I have not found no way to generate a QR code uh, for my mobile setup again because uh, my mobile has crashed and uh, that's where I have. Uh, um, reformatted and when I use the authenticator it was not sending the uh, notification so I didn't have any option not just me all over the web I found out this challenge like uh, they were not able to uh, log into the cloud account because they were stuck with the um, uh, validation of the mobile part uh, that is the MFA authorization um, so that's where uh, I had found out these two options one is that you could use the uh, bypass code but only thing is with the bypass code it is just one time Whereas if you remove this, um, uh, the additional MFA um, factor, then you can log in with your cloud user ID password. I hope you found this uh, presentation useful. Thank you and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.